Hey folks, today we're out here on the Rain Sheepdog and Armory channel. I'm here with Brandon, as everybody? usual. How you know, Brandon is, I gotta have the handsome guy on the channel. You know, <laughs> hey, now, I'm, I'm okay looking, but I'm not Brandon. No, you're pretty good looking with that beard, man. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people like to touch it. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'll pass on the touching. Good <laughs> no, 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 we're good. Uh, so we're here today. We're going to be uh, doing some testing on a, a couple of rifles that Brandon and I built. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys uh, probably got a little screenshot, possibly, maybe not. Uh, so maybe it'll be a secret. We don't know yet, but we'll, we'll see what happens in the editing. Uh, but today we're out here with Taylor Targets. They're going to be helping us out with uh, some, some distant shots. Uh, we do have a paper target to zero those rifles in. And uh, we're going to get out there and see what we can do. Brandon, yeah. any comments on those guns? Honestly, these things are really awesome. I mean, these things are beautiful colors. It's a really unique idea. And... Uh, I, I don't want to say too much without giving it away. So, yeah. well, you know, thank you guys for joining the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow the channel so we can continue to support and bring more, you know, footage for you guys. And uh, don't forget to check out his shop over here on Ann and Simmons here in Las Vegas. And I'm ready to just pull and, some And time. if you need uh, some USCCA certified uh, classes, you can, you can always check out Brandon at uh, triaddefense.vegas or national triaddefense.vegas. My bad. Okay. Uh, and uh, by the way, this is a Timber Creek video. They did uh, provide us with these kits and uh, we're thankful for that. Uh, amazing, amazing colors. You, you guys will see here in just a second. Yeah. So anyways, we'll get down to the fruits of this uh, video and get at it. Let's do it. All right. All right, everybody, we're out here at Desert Sportsman Shooting Range here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are going to have some gunshots going out in the background, but bear with us. We'll do our best our can we can with the sound. But this is the beautiful piece that we've been talking about here. This is a very, very beautiful orange-colored AR, as you can see. All of these parts were provided by Timber Creek. We also had Ballistic Advantage Barrel also provided as well. This is something that Roger and I had a chance to go to the shop and build to help offer, you know, just... It's not the same black gun like every other gun, you know. It's kind of not so much about what gun you have anymore. It's about what have you done to it or what does it look like. And personally, I'm a really, really big fan of neon colors. And, you know, what is better than one gun? Well, that would be... How about two guns, guys? Two guns. Yeah. Yeah, this is also a uh, Timber Creek uh, product uh, colored accessory kit with the Ballistic Advantage. This is in 300 Blackout, by the way. This is 5.56. Five, five, and uh, I did put a... Uh, you know, Sandman uh, muzzle brake on that instead of the one from Timber Creek provides. Uh, and that's basically because as a 300 blackout, you're going to get your best performance suppressed. And I did bring the suppressor today, so we Absolutely. will be playing with that. Looks like you put a green ACOG on that? Yes, sir. So this is a, a green ACOG, you know, ACOG just known for toughness, known for durability. Uh, and I wanted this gun to, you know, even though it, it looks luxurious, I mean, you know, it's, it's I wanted to provide years of service and uh you know i don't like to mess with them too much once i set them up so this is how this is going to be for uh here going forward unless something else comes up that i want to do to it but uh, i may add a sling or something like that but uh other than that it's going to go cool and cool. uh yeah man uh that one there i set up uh for with the lvpo uh, just uh so that you know we can do some distant stuff some short range stuff uh, you know, we just want to kind of be an overall type rifle. It looks good. It's going to perform well. We pretty much already, uh, in our in our minds, know that with all oh, yeah. the parts that are in there. Yeah, but, she's uh, going to shoot really smooth. Uh, what trigger? Do you remember what trigger we put in that one? Uh, I don't know. Rise, uh, rise armament. Rise armament. Yeah. We put a rise armament trigger yeah. with the combination of the Vortex Strike Eagle One yeah. Six. So. And I did put the same uh, trigger in here, but this one's a flat face trigger. This that was actually semi curved. Semi curved. So, uh, yeah, well, That's good. we'll get to uh, shooting these babies and let you guys know what we think about them. Yeah, we'll get some rounds on paper, generally dial them in, and then don't forget to come check them out over at Sheepdog Gun Armory as long as they're still there because they ain't going to be there long. Yeah, the last uh, Facebook post I put on this stuff, they, they went super fast. So. Yeah. Uh, I, I am stocked back up on them, but you know that that's only going to go until people find out we got them again. <laughs> love these colors, man. I know love they're awesome. Colors, so. look, look at how this one shimmers I in the love sun. That stingray it changes color. color. This one's called stingray, by the way. Yeah, stingray. And that one's the uh, anodized orange, but yeah, a mixture of purples, blues, and greens. It and then actually greenness. turned like a teal color the other day teal, when I was yeah. holding it. Yeah, I, like I just it. yeah, different lighting does different things to it. It's, cool. it's awesome. So, well, all right, guys, we'll hit it up. Let's do it. All right, welcome back guys. So we're gonna be doing test fire number three. This is the Sons of Liberty lower receiver using the Timber Creek Enhanced uh, Parts Kit. Very beautiful, bright fluorescent orange here. You can see a lot of cool parts by um, Ballistic Vantage Hansen barrels using one and seven twists. We also have rise armament triggers, Vortex optics using one to six variables. Really, really nice setup. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Let's get some rounds down range and make sure she's functioning properly.
All right. You know what? Uh, parts kits are parts kits, right? But if it looks good on the range, all the better. Timber Creek did a fantastic job with this. Uh, the Ballistic Advantage barrel is working fantastic. Uh, you know, the Strike Eagle optic is, is a good fit for this setup. We uh, are just really enjoying this, this setup here. Uh, I think we're going to let Brandon shoot some 300 blackout now and get those dialed in. That way I don't have to dial it in later. All right. So this time we're going to be using the Stingray Timber Creek lower parts or uh, lower and upper parts kit, should I say. This one is built off of an Arrow Precision Lower Receiver, also has the riser armament trigger, and this one is rocking the beautiful one to four green ACOG with the Chevron. Love this optic. And we will be using this suppressed here in a little bit, but we're gonna start with supersonic rounds. That way we can really break the gun in. Same thing, let's go ahead and zero it and get on paper and see how she runs. All right, so I had a chance to run about six to seven, eight, nine rounds to this. Made an adjustment the wrong direction, then I had to go back the other way. But we were pretty zeroed here, only at about 30 yards, which is relatively decent for a 300 blackout. Um, we will zero it at different distances later, but overall she's shooting very, very smooth. This is supersonic, so we are gonna have a little bit more punch in the buffer system. Looking forward to moving over to subsonic rounds, especially with the suppressor, so we can see how quiet she can go. But this thing is beautiful. She's running great. The green optic is just amazing. I love that green Chevron. It's really, really bright, especially if you're in bright sunlight. That green is just really popping. So, Roger, you did a good job. I love it. All right, folks, now we're going to shoot some subsonic. Uh, we got the Sandman S on the tip of the Sandman brake. 200 grain Winchester rounds, subsonic. Yeah, <laughs> you can see the smoke coming out of there. That's always a fun sight. Thing shoots really smooth. I love that smell of carbon in your face in the morning. Second best to coffee.